Hey guys, we're going to do Damien's Fat Pack, and then if I'm not too sleepy, I'm going to go ahead and do the Patreon stuff. I'm actually running out of cards, which is fascinating because I printed like a hundred dollars of stuff and I already don't have it. Fascinating. But anyway, we're going to do Patreon dice game uh, giveaway. Uh, but first, Damien had the option to have this shipped to him sealed uh, the booster packs and the land packs but he wanted to open it so here we go good luck Damien so Damien is the winner of the 20,000 subscriber uh, we do have various contests still going there's one on Instagram I'm probably gonna make one on the app the amino app soon uh, I have to actually do that I've just been kind of busy so Good luck, Damien. Hope. I mean, with this set, it's really difficult to pull well. Uh, the so Damien's from Canada, by the way. Not from uh, Croatia or uh, Ukraine. What's what's the two guesses? Um, so here we go. It's really hard to pull well from this pack. It just it's either Expedition or Gideon, and then everything else has very little value to it uh, maybe endless one is worth a few bucks but wow huh but really difficult to pull well from battle for zendikar given the current prices today evolving wild with rush of ice tight end present it looks like we do not have a foil we have conduit of ruin i guess the one of the best cards you can pull would be a foil land. It sounds ridiculous, but that's probably worth like five to ten bucks. A blue foil land, probably one of the best cards you can. Uh, I mean, that is a uh, mythic. It is a mythic sire, sire of stagnation. This is good and bad. I mean, it's good that it's a mythic. It's bad that it's not uh, Gideon. I don't know, I feel pretty good about this fat pack. Another Ajazi. But we will see. We will see. Let's hope to pull something a little better than what we pulled previously, although a mythic is a mythic. This is probably the most... <laughs> we get there. Wow, we got there. Um, so this card, I don't know how much money this card is worth, but I know I this besides this is worth more than Gideon, obviously. So we got there, uh, which is fantastic. It, it is really hard to get there with these packs. Yeah, this is kind of like when you're trying to pull an Ugin, and that's your only out. Uh, Angelic Captain, but wow, that's a pretty Ugamog, um, Ugamog, whatever. And then the land pack I will keep sealed. But yeah, it's... Before, it used to be really easy to pull value in Battle for Zendikar. Um, being that the cards are new and they were post, you know, pre-collapse prices. Oh, this card's pretty good. The Stalker. I mean, it, it's pretty much that card. We really cannot expect too much. Even Drainer is like, what, six bucks now? Oh man, so, so gross. Um, the price, what happens to prices when people open lots of cards. Break of Armies, Ruinous Path. We have two packs left, but we, I think the value is, I don't know what he is at right now, but I do know a GP Houston, the dealer purchased them all from me. I'm going to do a quick price check after this video is done. I do feel like it's worth more than 20 bucks. From Beyond, it, it really is a Dragon Maze. You pull the Voice of Resurgence or you don't. Even Gideon's below 20 right now, I believe. So, <laughs> wow, it got there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, yeah, we got there. No foil lands, but uh, I think the value, I know that card is the most expensive card. I just don't know how much it is right now. Let's check up its price. Nope, nope, price. Okay, whatever, someone leave a comment below what he is worth. I do believe we got our fat packs worth in this pack, which is very hard to do. 
Anyway, bye guys.